Humanoid robots are making their way into workplaces, heralded by the introduction of two innovative models, Aptronics Apollo and Rainbow Robotics RB1. Both of these robots offer distinctive features and functionalities that have the potential to revolutionize human labor practices. But what exactly are their capabilities? Welcome to Tesla Global. Let's get into the video. Aptronics Apollo, designed as a humanoid robot, recently inked a commercial deal with Mercedes-Benz to aid in automotive manufacturing. These humanoid assistants are undergoing trials to handle tasks such as inspecting and delivering components to human workers on assembly lines, thereby automating physically demanding and repetitive tasks that are increasingly challenging to staff. On the other hand, Rainbow Robotics RB1 boasts a novel design. Named a bimanual manipulator, it comprises a wheeled robot base topped with a humanoid double-arm robot. This innovative configuration blends the mobility of wheeled robots with the dexterity of manipulators, enabling efficient navigation across various environments and unmatched versatility in tackling complex tasks at different heights. Apollo is a 72-kilogram bipedal robot standing at 172 ci with a functional face. This robot can lift up to 25 kg, making it well-suited for material handling tasks on the assembly line. And while the financial details and the number of robots being trialed remain undisclosed, Mercedes' move demonstrates the automotive industry's growing interest in automation to address growing labor gaps. The RB1, on the other hand, boasts a series of specifications that make it a formidable force in industrial settings. With a maximum driving speed of 9 km per hour, the RB1 can accelerate quickly and even take high-speed turns by leaning its body into the curve, dynamically adjusting its center of gravity to avoid toppling. Measuring 140 cbm in height and weighing 131 kg. While the RB1 isn't a lightweight humanoid solution, its manipulators can each lift a hefty 3 kilograms of weight, demonstrating its potential for various material handling and sorting tasks. Moreover, while the artificial intelligence capabilities of the RB1 remain veiled in mystery, initial videos depict teleoperation. Nonetheless, Rainbow Robotics has expressed a clear aspiration, achieving full autonomy as research, development, training, and simulation efforts progress. The company aims to surmount the constraints of conventional industrial robots and deploy the RB1 across multiple industrial sites. In a parallel vein, Mercedes' decision to pilot Apollo coincides with one of its factories in Hungary, grappling with a shortage of workers. The company's rationale is straightforward. They seek to explore the potential for robots to address labor shortages in tasks such as low-skill, repetitive, and physically demanding work. Mercedes's move mirrors a similar initiative by BMW announced in January, where the German automaker is trialing Figure 1 robots from another robotics company at its South Carolina manufacturing facility. Elsewhere, Amazon has also begun trialing digital robots from Agility Robotics in its U.S. warehouses, further highlighting the growing industrial adoption of similar humanoid robots. As the demand for automation solutions intensifies and the capabilities of humanoid robots continue to advance, these pilot programs are not only demonstrating the robot's current capabilities, but are also serving as a testing ground for further developing and refining their artificial intelligence, dexterity, and autonomous operation. Because of these advances, humans will soon witness a shift in the dynamics of how factories and warehouses operate, with human workers collaborating seamlessly with their robotic counterparts, allowing the synergy between humanoid intelligence and robotic efficiency to unlock new levels of productivity and workplace safety in a new era of advanced manufacturing. Meanwhile, in another move that sent shockwaves through the AI world, Google Cloud unveiled a series of groundbreaking advancements at its next conference this week. Such a vast context window 
opens up new frontiers in AI capabilities, allowing for seamless processing and native multimodal inference over massive troves of complex data. Importantly, this million-token context window represents a huge leap forward towards competently grappling with entire code bases, financial reports, or legal documentation, all while maintaining a rich, coherent understanding of the subject matter. In addition, Google envisions Gemini enabling a new breed of AI-powered assistants capable of truly intelligent discourse and task execution, having the potential to serve in applications ranging from expert customer service agents and academic tutors to auditors of documentation gaps and computer code. However, Google also acknowledges that even prodigious context windows have limitations when it comes to synthesizing and reasoning over information in a truly human-like manner. Vertex AI will now offer tools to automatically ground language model responses using live Google search data or enterprise knowledge bases. The aim is to boost accuracy and ensure AI agents tap into the latest, highest quality information available. If you get this far into the video, please leave a like on the video. Researchers believe grounding is key to developing the next generation of AI assistants, as these agents won't just engage in back-and-forth chats, but will proactively search for relevant data, synthesize insights, and complete complex user tasks in a way that truly augments human capabilities. And while Gemini started its focus on the language front, Google's Imagine 2.0 now takes AI-generated imagery into uncharted territory. This allows users to manifest their creative visions as living, breathing scenes, with Imagine 2.0 empowering creators and businesses to bring their stories to life in rich, dynamic ways in AI image generation. The model handles a diverse array of subjects, from nature to animals to mouth-watering culinary creations, and it does so with remarkable visual coherency, seamlessly transitioning through multiple camera angles and movements within each living image loop. Beyond animations, Image 2.0 packs advanced editing tools that allow users to remove or extend image elements via simple text prompts. Businesses can also leverage Google's Synth ID digital watermarking to invisibly mark synthetic media, providing content authentication in an era of rampant misinformation. And as revolutionary as these releases are, Google insists they're just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to generative AI's world-altering potential, as the company continues to lay the foundations for an AI-augmented future. Thanks for watching Tesla Global today. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.